The spotlight is now on police officers and police brutality. This ain't nothing new. This goes on every day, all day. It just hasn't been televised like it has been for the last few months. Got another police video for y'all that just came out recently. I never once said in none of my videos that black people are the only ones that get injustice or get their damn ass beat by the police. It's not a black versus white thing. It's not a white versus black or white on white. It's a us versus them thing. People versus the police thing. Ain't nobody safe. A police officer parked his squad car in the middle of the damn street. With no explanation. They wasn't shutting the road down. A crime didn't happen over there. He wasn't blocking it off. You know, blocking off a crime scene. You know, this uh, white man pulled up and he said he couldn't get through. He asked the police officer, um, can you move your squad car so I could get through? And the police officer basically said, go fuck yourself. You know, so, you know, he's telling him, yo, I got to get through this way. You got to move your squad car, man, because you, you're not doing shit, basically. You just got the shit parked here for no reason. Police officer got mad that this man even confronted him trying to tell him what to do. So, you know, he started kicking his ass. You know what I'm saying? Start stepping his hand into the damn street. And hit him in the back with his baton. He was like, turn on your back. The man like, I can't turn on my back when you got one you got one of my arms and you're kicking my ass. He's like, turn on your back. Turn it, brother. You know what I'm saying? He was kicking his ass. Stumping on his forehead. Hitting him in the back. Tasing him on up. He blacked his, he kicked his ass, man. And the, the crazy part about this video is this. The only crime that this man is being charged with is resisted arrest. The citation was for resisting arrest, not for anything he was doing before his conversation. Now, just like every officer. other case that got something to do with the police, they try to demonize the suspect. And they try to say this man was, he on probation. Just like they did Mike Brown. Oh, Mike Brown, oh, he's a thief. Oh, Trayvon Martin, he used to smoke weed. I don't give a fuck what they done in their past, what they got to do with this situation. The only thing he was charged with was resisting arrest. So if he's only charged with resisting arrest, why was he getting arrested in the first place? Well, if you look at the video, he was resisting arrest. My take on the situation is this. If he would have never resisted arrest, then this thing would have never happened. He would have just went on about his day. If he would have just complied with the police officer before and after the incident, to be honest, we wouldn't be talking about this right now. I mean, to be honest, if you really was trying to handcuff this man, all that stuff on your utility belt got all that weight that you carry him. You could have put all your weight on him and turned him over and handcuffed him. To be honest. To be honest, you didn't want to handcuff him. You wanted to kick his ass because you was mad that he even confronted you about your car parked in the middle of the street. To be honest. To be honest, you don't need to be a police officer to protect and to serve because all you do is collect and harass. To be honest, to be honest, your ass need to go to jail for assault because like I just said, if I would have went out there and kicked his ass like you did, I'd be in prison right now, to be honest. The cop was walking around him and he tased him several times. And he's not yelling or anything. He's not trying to get away. I think he should get fired. I think he should go to jail. Yeah, but he should never approach the police officer and told him to move out the street in the first place. He was just doing his job. What job was he doing? I mean, was there a crime scene? What was he looking for a suspect? For he, it wasn't no crime in the area. He just parked his damn car in the middle of the street. Let's say you got to get to work. You trying to get home or whatever the hell. And this is your main street that you take. And you got to take a detour just because this motherfucker just decided to just park his car in the middle of nowhere. So he get out his car like, yo, um, can you move? Can you just park on the side of the road or something? The police officer like, can you shut the fuck up? You know what I'm saying? So they got in the back and forth. And then the police officer just started kicking his ass. And he don't even get charged with nothing else but resisting arrest. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to holler at y'all later.